Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm back here at the memory fire where I gotta face Hazizes. He beat me so bad last time that right now, after going through the abyss, I feel much stronger and much more prepared. If you're wondering why I only have 49 coins, believe me, I spent most of that on Estrian and Trinian potions. I'm pretty much anyone I felt needed them at the time. Magus now has 983 MP, which is awesome. However, the max MP is actually 9,999. In most RPGs I played, max MP was actually 999, but that's not the case here. I felt that this is going to be my best chance at beating Hazizes. Actually, I could have better chances if I fail, and then I can just keep training. But I really hope it doesn't come to that. I really need to beat him now. It's personal at this point. So, you wish to challenge me? Again? I accept your challenge. Again! Alright, now it's on! You had me owned last time, and I've never forgotten that. Things are going to be much different. I swear to you on this one, Azizas. Okay, I think it'll be a good idea for Isis to use an Agility Bless on herself. We don't have to worry about healing because the first attack was only physical. And I'm going to go with an Agility Bless on Magus. Syria would have been a good choice as well. Oh, death spell! Oh, damn you! I hate you for that. I gotta use this turn to use a resurrect. But at least I had somebody buff for speed. A quicken scroll would have been great as well, but I felt we're gonna give it this attempt first. And if it gets really hairy, I can still use one. I just hope it never comes to that. But, let's give it the old college try, as Northern Mind would say. Okay, let's see. I say another Agility Bless is in order, this time on Syria. If you can get all four buffed with Agility Bless, you're in good graces. For the time being, at least. Okay, Krista K, I think it'd be a good idea if we use Mega Potion. Oh, I only got 15. I better make them count. But at least I still have lots of elixirs. Okay, uh, Dark Embrace is not working as well as I would like. I'm probably gonna have to start using Onslaught. Alright, as you can see, we're doing much better than before. Oh, great demise. I can inflict poison. Still only giving him a small dent of damage, though. That bothers me. Oh yeah, this is much better. Okay, nobody has boosted agility anymore. That worries me. But, I say we'll do just fine. Get little bits of agility up here and there, and we'll be fine. I take a risk if I'm not boosting my agility. But you know what? You've known me for years, LP. I'm a bit of a risk taker at times. Maybe to a fault. I probably had to heal this poison too before it becomes a serious problem. But I think we're doing alright. It's like the difference between this battle and the one we had much earlier in the LP, well, probably a couple videos earlier. It's night and day. Still a very gloomy day, though. That's also very worrisome. I'll be happy if I can save my Quick and Scroll for much tougher fights like the Apollyon and whatever's at the Zatteron. Well, beyond the Four Sisters. Because, yeah, there's going to be much worse waiting for you. Oh, God. 
Okay, that's not too bad. These Estrian and Trinian potions are paying off. Trust me on this one. I think now would be a good time to use a detox. I gotta get rid of this poison. I was wondering if you were gonna use Lightning Torn again. I was praying that you never would. But alas, we can't always get what we want. I mean, if we did, I would have won this battle by now. I mean, look, it's barely... N what, maybe... 20% gone? 15? I don't know the rough math. All I know is we're still not even close. I don't really want to get through this battle, get him so close to death, and then he demolishes me with a death spell. That would totally demoralize me. Probably be the moment of the year for me. Of LPs, of course. That would probably be much higher than getting two amazy daisies at Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Pit of 100 Trials. It's gonna be hard to top that moment, but if I lose to Hazizas from a death spell when he had very little health left, that would be the moment. Not a moment I'd want to happen because that would just kill me inside, but if it happens, at least it'll give you something to be entertained by. Or you guys will probably get under cardiac arrest after witnessing that. Oh my god, how does a guy so cumbersome move so fast? I guess Magic Drain's not that worth it. Because it doesn't give me that much MP. I'm gonna have to start using Ethers. Speaking of which, I don't want to use a Mega Ether. That's a bit too much. Uh, do I have many full ethers? Yes, I do. I'll give it to Zyria. I'm gonna let Isis apply it. Because it'll give me much more MP as a result. You can probably do this battle at a bit of a lower level, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh wait, her agility was already up. I thought it wasn't at the time because of the poison status in the way. Oh well, live and learn. And living is something I hope we're still doing by the end of this battle. Yeah, use a Mega Potion. If it gets really rough, I might actually have to start using Elixirs or even the Ultra Elixir. And I really want a large supply of Ultra Elixirs for moving forward. Ah, showering peril. Uh, Isis is probably going to die if she gets the next turn without getting rid of that poison. Unless I have Krista K heal her. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Have her use a Mega Potion this turn. Ah, death! Well, at least Krista K did something special. Do I really want me just to do this? Yeah, go for it. Every little bit of damage is gonna go a long way. Yep, do it. It's gonna bring our Isis down to critical. But I gotta count on her being healed next turn. So where are my Z potions to? Or better yet. Let's use an elixir. Oh, now he's got agility bless. This is gonna make the battle a little bit harder. Have fun with that. Well, we're gonna boost our agility too. Maybe this will be a good time for a quick and scroll. But, I've already committed. This is going to be an intense fight. I, I really like being challenged like this. This is an all-out war. He's not even the super boss, but he's testing me here. 
really putting me to the limit. Which I like. Ugh, another demise. Oh, two people are poisoned! I might have to use a rejuvenate soon. Okay, Ice has already has high agility. I'm gonna let Krista K have an agility class for once. That'd be a good idea. Ah, oh, weapon curse! Wait, this is actually a good thing, because these two don't even attack to begin with. I think I just had the Angel of God smiling upon me. The gaming gods are proud of me. I won't let this tribute go to waste. Yet. <laughs> There's still time for me to shit the bed. But I really hope that never happens. There, let's get rid of this poison. Be surprised if I have to use an Ultra Elixir for the sake of more MP. Or even have Isis use the Mega Ether. Wouldn't be such a bad idea, actually, if everybody gets 400 MP each. That makes a huge difference. Oh, death! Oh, that actually failed! But, Aziz has targeted Krista K with three death spells in this one battle. What do you have against women that are blondes and have eye patches? I think they're quite sexy. It gives you an extra orifice, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, I tried. I gotta try and make something pretty funny for this. It's just too intense. I mean, I don't want to be intense all the time, otherwise I'm going to give myself a heart attack! Another demise. Man, you are starting to suck, Hazizas. But I'm not done yet. Far from done. But me just needs more MP badly. I think we got a very good chance. Well, I mean, look. He's down to, like, around 20 to 25% health. Alright, we got a good chance. I say we make it happen. Alright, everybody's got a Jilly Dap except for Krista K. I really hope I don't have to heal as Isis. I would like to... Oh, God. This is going to be terrible. Uh, I don't like this at all. No, why did I hit defend? I wanted to use an item at least. Oh, well, looks like I had to shit the bed at something. Mega ethers are hard to come by, but we've got to use at least one. Stagnate. Agility down. This is not what we need! Well, the agility up and the agility down just brings it to normal. It doesn't take agility up and go BAM! Agility down! So I'm happy with that at least. I just don't want him to use it again right away, otherwise we're in trouble. Just hit me! I don't care! It's like, you're almost dead. Well, still a long way to go. Don't let the HP bar fool ya. Oh god, this is where it could be bad. Ugh, I'm gonna have to use a Phoenix Feather. As much as I want Zyria to attack, I mean, we gotta do this the right way. 
and I don't want to do this because Ultra Elixirs are so rare. But I gotta use one. I gotta stay alive. And at least it's gonna mitigate our MP problems. This was needed. I mean, at least I still have nine Ultra Elixirs left. I mean, that's still a lot. If anything, for very tough bosses, you should use like a minimum of at least one to survive. Yep, I think this is a better idea. It's keeping me on my toes even though I'm laying on my ass. Man, this bed is so comfortable. I have to have the pillow to with my upper back. Because I can't really LP while laying down. That is my setup. Deal with it. Oh, this battle is so long! Like, this is over 15 minutes! One boss battle should never be this long! Wait, when I did Golden Sun The Lost Age, was the final boss much longer than this, Doom Dragon? I think it was a little bit longer. I don't know by how much, though. I say we go for broke. I was thinking agility up, but Magus is very close to having his turn anyway. That was perfect. Six for six. Impressed. Uh, do I really need to heal this? You know what? YOLO! Let's do it! You might think I'm crazy, and you're probably right. But here we are, we're still alive. I'm not done yet. But this big dark god soon will be. He's at least gonna test me. Alright, will this be the finishing blow? I don't think so, but it'll be very close. Um, Ice is very close to healing. Go for it. That wasn't the finishing blow. I would have loved to have Krista K get the finishing blow. But we can't always get what we want. This is it. This is going to take him down. Got him! There! Woo! What a long fight that was. And it's probably not even going to be my toughest fight yet. Alright, Ice is at level 46, Chris Decay at level 45, sweet. We got a Dark Dragoness Blade and an Ultra Elixir. Yeah, you GTFO now. Okay, we picked up a new weapon, but we can't do anything with it. None of us can equip that weapon. But, we have to go to this gravestone over here. What I'm gonna do first is save. A voice speaks to you within your thoughts. Your desires speak truly. Tell me what it is you wish, and I shall grant it. You can wish for a staring coins or your beloved one. Let's see what happens if you pick staring coins. So shall your wish be granted. You receive 700,000 gold coins. That is gonna buy me a lot of Estrian and Trinian potions. If I actually decide to go with that, which would be absolutely retarded, obviously the second option is the one you want. Your beloved one. So, you wish for your beloved one to be here with you? I can do so, though it requires a certain blade to be in your possession. Which you now have. Excellent. I shall do the rest. Galena, my beloved one. Magus, I was in Kassarath waiting for you when all of a sudden I felt rejuvenated. And then I was teleported here. We need you, my beloved one. I need you. Join us once more as we seek to end this threat. My love, of course. I will gladly, gladly aid you in this. Alright, now we got Galena Gray to join us one more time. And seriously, this is going to be the last party member we get. 
So with that, she will be with us probably for the final boss, which will be in the next video. We've, we've come a long way. I'm going to do the Zatteron after I defeat Xeon, and probably do a Polyon after the Zatteron. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, I'll have new equipment for Galena. I'll level her up a bit, because now she's at level 36, I believe? Let me check. Yep, 36. I'll have her ready for Xeon. Goodbye, everybody.